What's shaking, booktube? My name's Cam. Welcome back to another video. You can consider this video a book review for two separate little books, but it's it's a little bit different. What's different about this book review video is that I knew before reading these that the books were probably going to be terrible. Today I'll be reviewing two books from my hilariously terrible looking book series, The Haunted Vagina and Taken by the T-Rex, 2018 and Literary Fiction Has Hit Its Peak. So one of my series that I did consistently and was pretty much my most loved series on this channel before we kind of ran out of book covers was hilariously terrible looking book covers and on almost every video there was at least one comment that would say, you should read these books. And now that we've pretty much exhausted the supply of hilariously terrible looking book covers, or as far as I can find them, I thought, why not? The two books I've chosen are taken by the T-Rex. The Haunted Vagina, I believe they were in the very first Hilariously Terrible Looking Books video I did, and I chose these ones pretty much because they were short and they were cheap. I think you could see where I was coming from if I said I didn't really want to spend a whole lot of money on these, didn't really want to spend a whole lot of time on them either. But I read them and this book review will actually be quite a serious one, I'm not just going to be sarcastic the whole video, might be a little bit, but I'm going to try and take the review pretty seriously. So with that said, let's talk about the first one. Taken by the T-Rex. Taken by the T-Rex. It is a very very short story, I would call it a micro story set in what I believe was prehistoric times, it wasn't really clarified, but the names were things like Drib and Glug. So I'm assuming them to be like cavemen and cavewomen. And look, I didn't have very high hopes going into it, but the writing really was just terrible. I'm going to read you an example in a minute that is pretty much from the first page, just so you can see what I mean, but it just wasn't good. And the dialogue between the characters was weird as well. I mean, one minute the cavemen would be talking to each other like we talk to each other, quite civilized, and then the next minute they would be talking in the third person. Glue, no like dinosaur. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So the main character is called Jorin and she is, from what I can tell, a middle-aged cavewoman who becomes the chief of her tribe after they come back from a hunting expedition to find that a T-Rex has destroyed the village and killed nearly everyone. So she becomes the chief and she wants to take some of the warriors to go hunt down the T-Rex and get revenge, whereas everyone else votes to move to another location and try to be safe. So they do, they move to the other location and rest assured, within a few pages the T-Rex finds them, wreaks carnage again. Drin decides to fight the dinosaur this time and before you know it the dinosaur goes from trying to rip it to pieces to sniffing her and getting quite sexual. It gets weird at this point, I mean it's a weird story so I wasn't surprised. You get what you pay for. But it got a little bit weird in the sense that Drin didn't really have any sexual attraction to the warriors of, or the men of the tribe because they didn't turn her on, but the danger, and it was pointed out that it was the danger and not so much the dinosaur, so she wasn't really attracted to the dinosaur, but the danger of the situation and fighting a T-Rex is what turned her on. Not much more to really say on that, next thing you know the dinosaur is picking her up and doing things to her, and then leaves. and doesn't bother them again. In retrospect, the dinosaur kinda <laughs> gave her the root and boot. <laughs> That's all there is to say about the story. And it was a micro story, so obviously there wasn't a real level of depth to any of the characters. The only two that the only two that are really recurring is Drin and Gloob, I think his name is. Who cares? It's some weird caveman name. So I'm just gonna redo the first page of Taken by the T-Rex, so that you get an understanding of the quality of writing we're dealing with here. Smashed bodies and pieces of bodies littered the valley floor as the small band of hunters looked down on the devastation which the big lizard had wrought. The young woman had seen 22 summers in this small village and now it was gone. Doesn't clarify who the young woman is before it says that. It looked as if the beast had made for the next small group of huts where it had just killed the old woman inside, comma, snapping them in half and allowing the pieces to fall and become tangled with the building from which it had taken them. The writing is just terrible, it's sloppy, and just because this is absurdist erotic fiction doesn't give it the free pass of having sloppy terrible writing. So the story gets one star, and that's not because it's about having sex with a T-Rex, because that's in the title. 
It's because the writing was bad, the characters were bad, and the whole lead up to the T-Rex incident was just incoherent dribble. It just wasn't good. The next one is the Haunted Vagina, and this one actually surprised me. Taken by the T-Rex is quite obviously just erotic fiction, that's just what it is, but the Haunted Vagina wasn't really... There were erotic scenes, but I wouldn't say the story itself is meant to be erotic. And I know that's weird because the title of the book is The Haunted Vagina, but it was a weird story, and again, obviously that's to be expected, but it, the way I interpreted it was actually kind of weird as well. What I mean by that is that I think there is actually a pretty good story in there, but unfortunately the writing was, again, not that good. It was better than Christy Sims, but it just, it still wasn't good. A lot of the imagery was way too graphic for what it was, and it was just disgusting when it didn't need to be. To give you a quick rundown, it's quite literally about a guy who meets and falls in love with a girl, and then finds out that a vagina is haunted. The main character's personality changed like 10 times through the story, it wasn't consistent, so that sucked. And then the other main character, the, the woman, or the girl, just frustrated me because she had all these really quirky kind of characteristics that were put in there just entirely to make her seem quirky. It's like when someone watches a few episodes of New Girl and tries to act like Zoe Deschanel. The quirks end up just turning into nonsense. For example, there's this bit where he's describing the quirks quite literally in a list form and there's things like she separates all of her food on the plate, like for example hot dog from the sauce from the cheese, because she likes to control the flavour. She calls water pouring from faucets waterfalls, she collects doll houses, she plays with her eyelashes, she loves goldfish and likes to stare at them in their bowls making fish faces at them, mimicking them when they open and close their mouths at her as if to communicate. Just all these unnecessary and weird quirky things just trying way too hard to make her seem more interesting than she is. But eventually a skeleton crawls out of her vagina after they're having sex and she decides that she wants her boyfriend to go inside of her, like whole body inside of her, to have a look and see what's going on in there. And naturally because he loves her so much, he does. And there happens to be a whole other world and they're inhabited with these weird little alien things. I, I don't even know what the fuck they are. Anyway, the rest of the story, it just doesn't matter. Like, it's just not important. That's really all you need to know about the story. But that much did interest me in the aspect that there kind of is a story in there. Maybe not the part about the vagina being the gateway, but the fact that there was a world inside of the person that in the end was revealed to be her womb. I think that was an interesting part of the story. So I gave this story, look, I gave it two stars, but still the writing was terrible, the characters were terrible, so that's really as generous as I could be. If you want an example of how bad the writing was in this one, I'll, I'll just point out a few little things. So there was a bit where it literally says, I loved her, and then it has two arrows pointing to each other, much, as in, I loved her this much. And then in parentheses it says, that means infinitely. Yeah, that made me cringe a little bit. The first line of chapter 6 says, It dawns on me. I'm all the way inside of her. I'm like a human penis. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. <laughs> I should also mention there's a character inside of that world inside of her vagina that is just like this weird little demon looking thing. So it's the chick on the cover, I'm assuming. When she's being described in the story, she's described as looking animated like a CGI character. Like Jar Jar Binks. It actually says like Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> Look, that's really all there is. They were quite short stories. Um, like I said, I was pleasantly surprised by The Haunted Vagina. I mean, it still sucked, but it's not like I wasted a whole lot of time on it. Taken by the T-Rex was absolutely atrocious, but I'm not that big of a fan of erotic dinosaur literature. In fact, I'm not a fan of it at all, so I don't know how much I was really expecting to enjoy it. But all things considered, it was quite a fun experience reading stories on purpose that I knew would be just absurd. I'm thinking I'm going to continue doing this, kind of reading through some of the titles in my hilariously terrible looking books videos that looked interesting enough, and are short enough, and cheap enough, that I can just read it in, you know, maybe like half an hour, and then review it here. Anyway, let me know what you think. I did this as you suggested. It was your idea, so you deserve the credit. Maybe you know of any other, preferably free, really short, absurd stories you would want me to check out. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Catch ya.